Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm doing a pack with me carry on only edition because all I do is take a carry on and a personal item for my trips. So I want to show you guys how I pack for that. So stay tuned. So this is my brain dump notebook, and I use this to plan what I'm taking in my personal item and my carry on. The first thing we're packing is bottoms. So I fold these in small rectangles, and you'll see that as a common theme for all of my clothes. I packed shorts and leggings. I'm going to Missouri, so it's going to be pretty warm, but I wanted to also have some comfortable clothes, and that's why I'm taking the leggings as well. For the cold rainy days, I'm bringing a couple pairs of jeans, and in case I go out later in the evening when it's chilly outside. So shorts, I have four pairs, leggings, two pairs, and jeans, two pairs. Stack those. Next, I'm packing my tops, and I packed, I think, eight tops. Most of them are crops because it will be in the 80s when I'm in Missouri, so I just wanted to have a lot of choices for when it's nice and warm outside. I'm only going for five days, but like I said, I like to have a lot of choices because I'm pretty picky with my outfits, and I like to change them a lot. I'm folding these in small rectangles and trying to make them all the same size. I like to fold them so all of the round edges are on the same side and I can see each shirt individually. Next, I'm packing a couple long sleeve shirts, just for when it's chilly out, like I said. We also are going out, so I wanted some nicer shirts, and I have an interview, so I thought that one of these would be nice for the interview that I have online. This shirt is really gross. Um, I didn't realize that it was stained, so I didn't end up wearing this at all on my trip, but it could just be a lounging shirt. So I have eight tees total and three long sleeves. And like I said, it's a five day trip. So that is plenty of shirts to choose from. Next, I'm packing a windbreaker because it is going to be rainy when I'm there. And I'm going to have another rain jacket as well. But this is just in case I wanna look cute and it's raining. Next, I'm bringing a bathing suit because we will be swimming. And pajamas. I only bring one pair of pajamas because I really don't need a lot or <laughs> I just sleep with this basically every night. Next, I have a bag for my underwear and my socks. Then I have a bag of Glossier makeup in the iconic Glossier bag. And next is accessories. I'm bringing this bandana and then a couple belts for going out and then a couple hair ties as well. And next I'm bringing a couple pair of shoes that can get dirty. And then here's my airport outfit. I'm folding it up nice for the next day because I will be putting this on in the morning and I just wanted to have it all ready. So I have my Nike pants, I have my Nike jesters, and then I have a white long sleeve tee. It is going to be hot when I get there, but I just want to be prepared for the rainy cold weather in Michigan when I leave and the cold plane as well. So this is my airport outfit. Next, I'm packing my bag, and once you have everything folded into rectangles, it's pretty easy. I did pack a lot, as you saw, way more than I needed for a five-day trip, but it all still fit really well in this carry-on size suitcase. I did measure the bag to make sure it was carry-on size for Delta, and it worked out really well. It was the perfect dimensions. So I could pack a little better and a little more smart, but this is all that I do, and it's pretty simple. Once you have the rectangles, it just fits really nicely into the bag. And I did end up moving the big pink bag into the front because it had liquids in it. And I read the TSA guidelines and it said to have your bag with liquids in the front of your suitcase. So that's what I did. Next, we're packing my personal item and I'm using my school backpack to do this. Usually I have a smaller one, but that one broke. So I'm using this one. I'm packing my laptop, my brain dump notebook, because I literally take that everywhere with me. Same goes for my art journal. I always get inspiration when I'm on the road, so I had to bring this as well. 
I hate when I don't have my art journal and I get inspired. Next are all of my chargers and then my AirPods as well because I need those for the plane, definitely. And I just throw these in the bag. I put them in the side pocket, but for the sake of this video, I just threw them in. Next, I bring my Tombow dual brush pens and that's for the art journaling and the brain dump notebook. Then I have a pen, a pencil, and then my iPhone stylus because I use Procreate on my phone. Next, I have my GlossierBalm.com. Then my wallet and my passport because I don't have a license, so I need to bring my passport to the airport even though it's a domestic flight. I also packed my Gorilla tripod for my iPhone when I'm vlogging. I just didn't put that in the bag at this point. And my water bottle. Forgot those two things, but you get the idea. And now we're all set. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And stay tuned for Missouri vlogs and summer vlogs. I will see you guys next week in another video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.